Can you imagine what the devil does every time he walks up into your room and you got the Holy Ghost because the Bible says with the Holy Ghost you know all things? <laughs> Can you imagine when the devil walks up and he's like, there's that know-it-all again. He woke up. Look at him. He thinks he knows everything. Oh, Mr. Know-it-all. Oh, he knows it all. He knows it all. You know, he hates to look at you when you talk because to him you are know-it-all. That's what the Holy Ghost does for you. That when things begin to come against you, yes, sometimes, sometimes we're surprised, but at the same time, God says, hang on just a minute. Last week when you prayed, I showed you this was going to happen. Oh, you did. Last week when you was in your prayer, I told you this was coming. Mm. Or how about this? Because there's, there's been times when it's been over a year. I, I mean, it's like, it's like Larry Bess was standing at the door today, and his wife walked in. She said, where's my water? He said, I put it right where you told me to. I said, don't you remember when you told him last week? She looked at me, and then Larry looked at me, and I said, he remembers what you said a year ago. <laughs> <clears throat> there are things that we may forget, but the Holy Spirit doesn't. And so when the church was born, this is what God said. When you are born into this, God said, I want to give you the power and the ability to always know exactly what's going on. I want to give you the full strength and glory of heaven. I don't want you just to get saved so you can get knocked down and be a punching bag from the enemy. I want you to have enough power in you that when he starts to raise up, you just throw your hands up. I want to give you so much power and so much glory that it doesn't matter where you're at. If you can find a phone booth, Clark Kent, I'm going to turn you into Superman. Just that quick. You'll outrun any speeding bullet. You can take any kind of things that come against you and it won't knock you down. It won't strike you down. Matter of fact, when other people see you coming, they'll say that's the one that has it. The church has got to get back the power and the authority again. It's, I'm sick and tired of seeing a weak church just sitting back and letting things happen. I'm sick and tired of seeing tweets from weak church members and people. Come on, somebody. I don't know. I know there's a lot of stuff going on and I don't need CNN to give me a sermon but all of this stuff going on in Minneapolis today is because there is no unity and not unified and every church member and every church person who is not unified in God and understands that unity tears everything up shame on you for getting out there and tweeting stuff you shouldn't tweet and make posts that are wrong if the church will stand back up and crawl into the phone booth and crawl into the prayer closet and get the power of the Holy Ghost then things will happen again <laughs>